but it's gonna be a matter of how much you want it and how much you gonna put into it, how much that you believe in it. If you don't, it ain't gonna happen. Just don't come easy out here, I tell you that. It don't come easy, you really gotta take it out of mud. How y'all doing? My name is Eric Rett, born and raised in Broward County, Florida. You know, the best place where the, all the athletes are born and made. And so right now, I'm gonna take y'all to the chiropractor with me right now because uh, go work my back a little bit, make sure nothing's tight, nothing's wrong with me. And um, after that, we're gonna take y'all to the field. You know where, how we gotta do. So I'm about to show y'all my everyday life, what I do each and every day. All right, y'all ready for it? All right, let's go. Just a grind, really. The grind really inspires me, though. And the fear of failure. I, I hate failing. I don't. I hate that feeling of just like thinking, what if? What if I don't do this? What if I don't do that? It just like I don't want to fail. I want to be successful in life and be able to have my kids be successful in life. Just to grow up and not have to worry about nothing. I mean. I had that all for my life because my dad worked hard. My dad worked his butt off. I tell you that right now, and um, I, I want that for my kids. We're gonna be able to have that same feeling for my kids. Come on, car. Um, just not have to worry about that or nothing. Especially in life when it comes to like money-wise, I don't want the stress over money because you know what I mean. Um, my biggest support is. Um, Definitely my parents. My parents are my biggest supporters. But um, I definitely think God really, definitely God really supports me a lot because He brings me here. He wakes me up each and every day. So I just feel like that's the that's the biggest one right here. My social life. I always say connected with friends here and there. That's the best part, especially um, not living on campus. Um, my social life is. I mean. I try to say I try to stay social, but I also try to stay away from it so much because a lot of that can really distract you from my vision and where I want to be at. And I feel that if I if I stay too social with so many people, I'll just kind of lose that side of that vision of where I want to be. So I, sometimes I gotta distance myself, like I stay off of social media and delete Snapchat, delete Instagram, stuff like that, and just kind of go go for a little minute and just focus on myself, remember where I'm where I want to be at. Really. Thanks. So what really made me get into sports is just growing up at a young age, watching my father. He really inspired me. He played in NFL for about eight years. Rookie in the year of, uh, not rookie of the year, but he led the most rushing yard at the University of Florida. So all that really inspired me to really get into sports. And I want to start my own career, start my own thing one day. So I want to look back at my people, my family and kids. like. That's my father, like he did something like that. That's so cool, like not a lot of people can be able to achieve stuff like that. Just stay motivated and so passionate about the sport. It's just, it's just a different level and it just took a huge impact on me when I was younger. It really, it really, it really definitely changed me. It made me a better person. It just, it's different. It just, it, I'm able to get out of myself, zone out. And that was really made me get into sports, especially football. It gets tough sometimes. It's really an up and down relationship, but at the end, it's it's amazing. At the end, you all the, everything you have accomplished in football, see it all come true and see it all work out. It's amazing. to go pro in the NFL. That's the main vision. But you know, you gotta take it one step at a time, set goals, each level. But uh, God only knows where we're going. So you gotta let the hand of him. And he's gonna take me wherever he wanna take me. Consists of basically catching a whole bunch of balls. Uh, <laughs> 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 
training really consists of uh, just working out, being explosive, getting out of um, getting out of steps, not steps, but like breaks, um, catching more, catching a lot of balls, really. Um, just being explosive and keeping my, make sure my feet's moving at all time, uh, like ladder drills and stuff like that. Doing a whole bunch of routes, uh, being explosive, really, being explosive, really. That's what it is. I don't really know how to go too much about it, how we're training in. I just really gotta show y'all what it is. I can't really tell y'all too much. When I'm not training, um, most of the time being my family. I love being my family. I'm a family guy. Um, either watching film, uh, relaxing. Uh, looking over, looking over plays, looking over little things. How can I be better? I can do something better than the other. Um, looking at difference, like how I did this and how I can do that. Really, just improving myself all the time. Yep. But the first thing is our leadership panel is old. They're tired. They can't do the job. Right. Yes, that's why they have revolution. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Chinese revolution, the Russian revolution, the French revolution. Mm -hmm. They took over the bourgeoisie. Let me know when this is comfortable. Good right here. So, yeah, what's that, a saucy? That is called interferential. What's the output? Oh, wow. And what we're doing is it causes a response on this tissue to reduce inflammation and reduce pain by releasing endorphins. Ooh. And I took your dad uh -huh. and, and your Uncle Mike. Uh -huh. And they both were like, your dad was playing at that time. He's like, I, I can't lose my career over this. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? Like, well, this is insane. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean it's insane? I said, you jumping over men flying. Uh -huh. He's like, yeah, but this is dangerous. <laughs> no. And I was like, okay, but you've never done this before. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like going skiing, isn't it? <laughs> now we take a nice deep breath. All the way out. Other side. So funny. Oh, please. It was the funniest because your dad was like,